Hi everybody, Steve and Adam with Midwest Panel Builders. And as you may or may not know, we've been in South Africa all week uh, installing a system for Miss Sollers, Mr. Sollers on their uh, brand new Sling High Wing. It's gonna be the first one coming back to the US and uh, we're proud to be part of it. Uh, so we got everything installed and now we will give you an overview of exactly what we did. All right, so on the high wing, obviously we have the wings up high, so we have a box that's up here. They call it the top box. So all of our routing is going to route up through the side here where the um, seat belt is and in through the airplane. So we're going to route over to the wings. We're going to route to the uh, flat motor that's up here, and then we go up to where our center console box is. And we got transfer pumps up front. And then we're gonna route around over to our roll servo, which is now up top. This used to be in the floor of the TSI, but because of you know the tubes being up here, torque tubes for the um, ailerons, that's where that is mounted. And then we also have our coax for our antennas, and then of course our right wing wiring. So it's a little bit different, well, quite a bit different than the TSI, as you can imagine. Um, but we've got uh, all the measurements now that we're going to need. Uh, everything fit really nice anyways, but we were able to, um, you know, take in and, and shrink a few things um, for future builds. So everything will be good. You also have your, your wiring that's going to go for your front cabin lights. And then rear cabin lights come through here. We actually have three. So we have two for the passengers, one for the luggage area. And then our wires for our headphone jacks will go back here which when we look inside, you'll see where the plug-in is for those as well. So um, now we'll have Adam show you below how the routing is from the top box down to where the panel is. Okay, so uh, the wiring for the top box on both sides comes down what I'm gonna call the B-pillar here. So there's a channel behind the seat belt mount where all the wiring comes down. You can see it comes down through here. Uh, this is your aileron cable. This is the bundle of wiring from the top box. It goes down along the side, goes up this side piece here, there's another channel, and then it comes out and then goes and connects to our rack harness back here. Uh, the other side also has this option, uh, and this aircraft on the other side is coax for uh, different camera hookups for our new Flight Flix uh, camera system that we're starting to uh, work with. Um, as we look, we can also see we've got some wiring coming down the middle. We don't have a lot. We're trying to keep this clear for the uh, pitch torque tubes, uh, or torque tube, rather. Uh, but you can see we've got left seat and right seat connectors here. This will be for the sticks as well as for the seat motor. Uh, this here, we have our headset jacks. These will actually end up running through the center section here uh, as they get closer. And then we got some USB wires as well. Um, also coming down this side, you can see this bundle of wires down here that goes through the floor. So we have all of our tail wiring as well as the two oxygen tubes from the AVI 64 for pilot and co-pilot positions. So the tail wiring includes the pitch servo, it includes the ELT, the magnetometer, the tail beacon, and trim. And then also again in this particular aircraft um, we've got a couple camera wires for um, one is like a taxi cam and the other is going to be a recording camera. Um, so that's pretty much it for the down low wiring. Everything else is contained on our rack and on the panel, um, more similar to how it would be on the TSI. With that being said, here's the instrument panel all lit up and looking pretty. So as you can probably see, this is a dual G3X system. We've got the 650XI as our navigator. Um, this one, the owner of the airplane is an airline pilot, so she likes the autopilot up high. More typically, this might be swapped depending on your preference. Um, the G5s have to go low. We typically prefer to have them high as well, um, but due to uh, some engineering that they had to do with the fuel selector, we have to keep this down low because this is shallow, whereas the 650 is very deep. Um, this one also has our transfer pump system. As you see when we arm it, these lights turn on, and I won't run the pumps dry, but they do work, I promise. And then if we look up towards the top overhead here, we can see that we have the heater control. Uh, so this is uh, Sling's new control system where it switches between exhaust heat or also fresh air vents, depending on the temperature you select. Um, these here are a swamp cooler system, so fan and pump for that. That would go on the back. And then all of the light switches are up here now, including cabin light, which you can 
probably see the lighting change back there and then these are disconnected so I can't show you unfortunately uh, but this is going to be one of the biggest uh, benefits to doing a high wing having that center or the overhead console that's actually built into the aircraft um, a lot of TSI owners are doing that but unfortunately the canopy is so close to your head that it's kind of hard to do that elegantly but they did a good job in the location for that the other really nice feature that they did, and Adam touched on it briefly, is we did have this wired for the power seats. So the seats themselves will have a mechanism that has them go forward and back. That's going to be manual still. But you'll have a motor that actually lifts the seat up and forward. So that's really nice for people who might be a little bit shorter that would have to boost themselves up. That's a really nice feature that they added that allows that seat to actually rise up a little bit. When I got into the high wing earlier, I was actually my head was under the roof. And then once I pushed that down, I had plenty of headroom. So um, that's a really nice feature that I think that they added um, that's going to be really beneficial. So Linda and the aircraft are poised to be at Oshkosh this year, as long as uh, everything continues going smoothly as it has been. Um, we want to really quickly give a, a special shout out to somebody. Uh, so Ivan from Ukraine, who also has a sling hiring on order. Uh, we hope that uh, everything goes well for you and that you stay healthy. And uh, we look forward to seeing your plane flying sometime in the future as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or go to our website, midwestpanels.com, to get a hold of us. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming out here. I mean, talk about service all the way halfway around the world over to South Africa to do this incredible install. I couldn't be happier. It is just spectacular. Thank you. Now I have to learn how to use it all.